Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne from the Hertfordshire Family Centre Service in Broxbourne. Today I'm going to read you another one of Monster Max's books. This one though is all about shark spaghetti. Mm, do you remember Max? That's right, there he is, look. He's a green fluffy monster who likes what type of food? Can you remember? That's right! Yucky, mucky food. Right, shall we see what he's doing in this book? Wow, I do like Mon Mac the Mon Max the Monster. I don't like what he eats, but I think the stories are fabulous. Oh, look at this. Today, Max and his monster friends are all off on holiday for some stinky summer fun. They just can't wait. Hooray! Oh, can you see? Look. They're all... Where do you think they might be going? Hmm. Well, I hope they've got their passport if they're going on holiday. But again, we're not really going on holiday at the moment. But I'm sure we win again soon. Shall we see how many friends... So there's Max. And let's see how many friends he's got with him, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. Five friends and Max makes, that's right, six. Wow, let's have a look. <gasps> Max hopes the hotel food tastes yum, but just in case he packs a stash of stale dung beetle crisps, his favourite smelly snack. Oh, wow. Look, can you see? He's packed some crisps. Look at his suitcase. His suitcase is full of crisps, isn't it? Mmm, wow. <gasps> All monsters fly by Queasy Jet. Max loves their in-flight meal. Moth mashed potato with tapeworm sausages. Tapeworm sausages washed down with pureed eel. Oh my gosh. Look, can you see? Look, there's the tapeworm sausages. Oh, wow, look, he's got a great big pile of moth mash there. Can you see all the moths in it? And there comes the, the juice, and it's called Pureid, Pureid Eel. Oh, dear, that's an eel. They live in the sea. Can you see? Wow. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, look at this one. All right, are you ready? Their hotel is delightful. Sticky slug trails paint the walls, the ceilings draped with spiders. Whee! Look out, 411 falls. Look, can you see them coming down from the ceiling? Wow, I hope they don't land on your head. That would be quite scary, wouldn't it? Oh, look, and there's someone behind the desk. And look, there's bugs on the bell. And there's Max and all his friends with all their suitcases. Look, can you see? But we know that Max hasn't got any clothes in his suitcase. He's got just crisps. <gasps> There's a monster buffet breakfast. Snake skin cereal, help yourself. Fresh caterpillar croissant slurp are so good for your health. Look, can you see? Let's see what they've got at the buffet. So you've got snaky flakes. Oh, I've never had snaky flakes before. Um, there they are. Look, there's a jelly with like worms in it. There's lots and lots of worms here. Oh, look at this. And you've got some buns with eyeballs in and some croissants with some uh, caterpillars in. They are. And uh, they look like they've got beetles in. It all looks very yucky mucky to me, doesn't it? <gasps> wow. Crash bang comes from the kitchen. It's the gunkiest you've seen. The dirty plates are being washed. One monster licks them clean. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't lick my plates. How do you do your washing up? That's right. They go in the sink and you wash them. Or sometimes you put them in the dishwasher. But not, we don't lick them. That's not very good, is it? But look at this monster. He's got his washing up liquid. And he's wash, wash, washing. Can you see? 
And there's Max and his monster. Oh, look. Look, that's not very good washing up, is it? Look, he's breaking the plates. We have to be very careful when we do that. Let's see what else they do. Oh, look, now they've gone to the beach again. Yippee, it's time to hit the beach. It's scorching hot, Max smiles. His sun cream whiffs of rotten eggs. Bugs come from miles and miles. So can you see, look. Wow, look, can you see he's got like his rubber ring on and there's some bugs. They've made a lovely sandcastle. I sometimes do that when I'm at the seaside. And look, there's some crabs. Should we see how many crabs we can see? There's one. Oh, I can see some eyes there. Look, look, two. And there's one up there. That makes three crabs. Wow, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? <gasps> the beachfront has some super rides. Max loves the gloop the loop. They wig down tubes of slobber, squashing through great vats of gloop. Can you see? So let's see where they go. They go up and down and up and down and up and down and splash. But it's all a bit mucky yucky, isn't it? Don't you think? Well, I never. <gasps> the hotel pond slime pool is great staff brings scum shakes to sip the woodworm riddled loungers to relax after your dip look but do you remember his paddling pool in the other story was very mucky look the swimming pool is exactly the same but look all of max and his friends look like they're having lots of fun in the paddling pool don't they look and they're sitting on the sun lounger and here can you remember what this is called that's right. It's called an octopus. And he's making all the lovely drinks for when they're at the sea side, around the pool. Isn't that nice? Oh, yum, yum. It's, a, it's their last meal at the hotel and the friends get a huge fright. Chef's cooked up shark spaghetti. It's the dish with an extra bite. Look. Can you see? So look, it looks like spaghetti bolognese. I like spaghetti bolognese. So there's all the spaghetti and there's the bolognese. But look, can you see? Can you see an eye? Do you think there's a shark in it? <gasps> Shall we see? Oh, look, there's a shark. Max bravely digs his fork in, but stop, gasps his friends. Take care. Max prangs a slimy shark's tooth. Bing! It's hit him. Oh, guess where? Can you see the shark? Oh no, and one of his teeth will come out. <gasps> I wonder where it's landed. Should we have a look? Wow, there's a shark. Max has to stand the whole flight home. His trip won't be forgotten. He has a special souvenir. A tooth pulled from his bottom. Look! So that's where the shark's tooth landed. Look, can you see? And he's got the shark tooth in his hand. So that shark, he bit his bottom. Ouch, I bet that hurt. Oh, wow. But what a lovely souvenir. Do you know what a souvenir means? It means something you can keep and you can look back on and go, oh, I remember that. Now, how wonderful. I've never had shark spaghetti though, but maybe... You can think of as many songs as you can that have got sharks in it. Do, 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 rings a bell. And maybe you could make your own shark out of a toilet roll. That would be fun. And then you could pretend to hide it and maybe pretend to bite somebody's bottom. That might be funny. Don't do it really, though, because it would hurt. But we could pretend, couldn't we? Anyway, I want to see lots and lots of lovely sharks but be very careful when you're eating your spaghetti. Just check, make sure there isn't any. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you very soon. Bye for now.